Hello coaches, so just some ideas on how to make a 4v2 rondo or a traditional rondo where it's two players in and five or four on the outside. How do we make this more realistic? And more from a perspective of numbers. So in a game where you're looking at recreating a situation like this, maybe it goes from centre back to full back and maybe it's the eight and the eleven are the two the dynamic that we want to look at is the numbers increasing so players will eventually after every pass more players will get attracted to the ball and come in and try and join it so how do we again look at this here scenario identify it where initially two players 5v2 after every pass it draws the opposition in and the numbers then increase and then the conditions of the game can be harder so Painting that picture, another example here, same scenario, initially starts off as a 4v2 and then after every short pass it brings in another player defensively. So now you've got three defenders, becomes four defenders and the conditions of the game changes in terms of time and space. So a, an example of a game that you could use to maybe recreate this would be 5v2 with three players on the outside defensively. Starts off as a 5v2. After 10 seconds, now a defender comes in and now it becomes a 5v3. After five seconds, conditions of the game change again. It's another defender. Now it's a 5v4. And same thing, five seconds, the last defender comes in and now it's 20 seconds total and it becomes a 5v5. Now the objective is five consecutive passes to win the game. So just something like that to recreate the pictures, to try and put some pictures in players' minds that yes, the game changes and yes, that even though you keep possession, it might add more pressure towards it. How do we recreate that? How do we paint that with our players? Any questions, please let me know, Gary at ModernSoccerCoach.com. More content available at ModernSoccerCoach.com slash latest. Thank you.